Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. Today, we're back with oxygen not included with the spaced out DLC. As we can see here in the top left, we are at cycle 790, so I think we are pretty proficient at the game by now. And today, we are going to space and we are going to do a lot of stuff with our infinite storages. So how about we just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are, back in our base, exactly as we left it last time. So, let's see what we can do first. I would think we're gonna start with our infinite storages. We already have two of them. Our oxygen right here and our water over here that has some sort of uh, possibility to enter it. We need one here for our carbon dioxide as well, another liquid lock as well as all the way down here on the bottom right for our hydrogen. So we are just going to build a liquid lock for both of them and we will go from there. So let's get started with some insulated tiles just like this here that should get the job done kind of like this kind of like that and over here that should work for right now don't you worry about this here that is perfectly fine uh here on the top we're gonna get rid of this piece of ladder because we're just gonna put some water into here that's all we need it's not hot in there just 58 degrees not a big deal so all we're gonna do in plumbing we're gonna come over here with a it doesn't even have to be an insulated pipe we're just gonna come straight across here we just need a tiny little bit of water and we're just gonna drip it down here let it fill up this area and no problem at all great next on the list is the carbon dioxide of course same game once again we're just gonna rip out these three tiles here and just copy and paste the setup down here we will not need an atmosphere dock it has 16.8 degrees in there we just needed it earlier when we got in here because it was still pretty freaking hot but now even in here we are at 10 degrees no problem at all while all this is being built over here, our conveyor loader going over to Mucula, we will need some Atmo suits over there because we are going to build a petroleum boiler. That's right, we're going to finally use that volcano over there and we're going to slap in a petroleum boiler like it's nothing. So let's see in here, we need to go to clothing and in clothing, we're going to just select the Atmo suit, allow manual use is still done, it's on priority number nine. So Atmo suits should be delivered here and being sent over there and we're just going to utilize them over on Mucula. Over here in Mucula, our Atmo suits have arrived, so let's see if we can find a way to actually get in here somewhere. I think the easiest would be to block off this side here and just lock this door here. There should be no access from the top, only from the bottom. Uh, yes, that's exactly how we're going to do this. We're going to just place a block right here, and this here will be the only access route. We can just deconstruct those three storage bins right here. Not a big deal. And as soon as those are gone, we're just going to slap in some stations for our Atmo suits. Over here on the top, I'm just going to build a tiny little bit of infrastructure. Right here, we're going to build a pump. Then we're going to come with a gas pipe just down here. We will need that here very, very shortly. Just come over to there. And then we need a little bit of power for our pump as well, of course. And we're just going to come straight through here. That should be fine. And hook it up to our filtered gas pump so we only get oxygen. And if a tiny little bit of polluted oxygen slips through, it will not be a problem. Back over here on Bierstein, I think it is time to actually go back to space with Gemster and we're gonna settle a new planet. So let's get going with that. In the space fair module, let's take a look to the interior. We of course need to put some food in here first and foremost. That's important. So we're gonna say 100%. We're just gonna say edible. Number nine priority. Let's bring us some food. Meanwhile, we're going to change over here to crew. Uh, of course, change crew. We need to go to Gemster. Gemster, as always, our guinea pig. Wonderful. He's going to get the job done. If anybody can, he can. Over here, I just turned on our system for the interplanetary launches. So we actually get some rat bolts in there. And we can give our good old Gemster in space some materials that he will need to build a platform so the rocket can actually land. That's going to be highly important. Without it, they're yeah, probably not going to look that good. But... We'll get that done. We just got to fill it with rat bolts. Should take no time at all with all this combined power right here. No problem whatsoever. In here we have now 35,600 calories. That is more than enough. So what are we going to do is we're going to change the destination. And what are we going to settle first? Grossano or up here? Uh, Frostino. Frostino? Yeah, I like Frostino. Let's get Frostino done. Right here. That's where we're going to land. There we go. Let's set the destination and then let's head back to our Bierstein map. Come on. And then we're going to say begin the launch sequence. Gemster, it is your time to shine. And here he comes. Enters the rocket. And here we go. And he's gone. Isn't that something? How long does it take for us to get there? Let's take a look. We need 2.6 cycles. 
not a big problem at all. Meanwhile, over here on Mucola. On Mucola, so this here is now all set up. It's full to the brim. We have our two Atmosuit docks here with Atmosuits in it made of iron or cobalt, I believe. Not entirely sure. It doesn't matter in the first place. But what's going to happen is our dupes can only come through here, go up those ladders, and then enter right here. And right here, I have something called the airlock door. That is not in the game. That is a mod. But it will help us greatly. So let's take a look we need to place it right at this height here i believe or one lower yes one lower right here that's where that should be so we're going to place that down when we take a look at the temperature all these areas here are hot what's going to happen is if we build this thing here first we will create a vacuum on the other side so no heat transfer what could possibly go wrong all we need for that thing to work is power so we're also going to put some power in and we have power wire right here we're just going to come over with it and going to hook it up just like that not a big deal it does need uh, some sort of fundament to stand on or some sort of foundation better to say and that's what we're going to do right below it all these pieces here need to go wait a second this one here not we're going to wait with this one first of all we're going to tear out the ones on the bottom right here get rid of them also these two here those are the hot ones and then all we're going to do is we're going to slowly but steadily fill it back up with insulated tiles. Come on, do it fast. Don't let all the heat escape, guys. Please, thank you very much. And now here we have it. No problem at all. These four tiles here are now a vacuum. Our door temperature is still at 112. That's how high it went. But it's slowly but steadily coming down and giving its heat over to this side. So yes, we are transferring some heat out. But in here, no problem at all. Isn't that something? And we're just going to keep on digging slowly but steadily further over to the right towards the magma. But we are not going to breach it, at least that's the plan. All the way to right there should be perfect. And now here we have it, easy peasy, and we can actually start building our petroleum boiler. So first of all, we need an insulated tile right here. That should get the job done. And then we keep building all the way down on the bottom and just put in our standard loop that you potentially have seen before. Oh no, the magma escaped. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't consider that. That is of course a slight issue. Oh no. Ah crap. Well, now we have to do something about that. Not entirely sure what yet, but now all the heat is going to transfer. That is actually what I was trying to avoid. Well, not good at all. The good thing is that we have our Atmos suit, so we can actually enter this area here without taking too much damage. That should not be that big a problem. I just don't know what we're going to do with the heat transfer for right now. Maybe we can just dig down here and hope that most of the magma falls down in this hole here. That would be best case scenario. Let's give that a shot. How about that? We're just going to build some ladders all the way down to here. That should be all right. And let's see what happens. Oh, hold on, hold on. What are you doing, Eric? Eric or oh, Eric? Chill out, Eric. Oh, he opened it up again. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, the magma's going everywhere. Let's grab us another insulated tile. Let's block it back off. Oh, no. Overheat damage everywhere. The lava is actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. Eric is dying. The Eric, get out of there. Hold on, hold on. Eric, 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 get out of there. Eric. Oh, no. He's stuck. Why can't you know? Why can't you move? I can't get him out of there. Move to. Oh no! Our ladder, our ladder disappeared. Get out of there, Eric! Oh no! Oh no! We have no way to get back up there. Oh crap! I may have just killed Mucula. <laughs> oh no! I may be able to save one dupe with our teleporter. Let's see. Who do we have here? We have Eric. Well, Eric's dead. We have Joel, Leafy, and Tech. We're definitely going to save Leafy. Leafy, you're the most valuable. You're our digger. Get into that transport and get out of here. Run. Run for your life. Run. Oh, no. Oh, God. Everything is at like 100-something degrees because we have steam everywhere. Was that Le Leafy? No. Where is Leafy? Leafy! Leafy, get out of there. That is not where you should be. You should run because you're not going to survive it. It's going to get way too hot. There you go. Run, you fool, run. Okay, we saved one dupe. That's the best we could do. But who do we have left over here? Who is still alive? Take the new bro and Joel. I have no way of rescuing you. There goes take the new bro and Joel is probably right behind them. Yeah, there is nothing we can do. Mucula is lost. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I guess we're just gonna act like that never happened. Uh, just... Forget about it. How about that? It, it's, it's all good. 
tried to start a rescue mission with Joel to put in this insulated tile here, but yeah, that's it. That is our last living dupe over here. That is, uh, yeah, slightly suboptimal to say the very least. But what can we do? Mucula is gone. Well, everything that isn't already completely broken is overheating once again. But you're just gonna act like this never happened. Let's see what Chemster's up to. Uh, not on Frostino, you are still in orbit. Chemster, how are you doing? Oh, you're on the telescope. Look at you. Ha, wonderful. Oh, you still have your suit on. I kind of forgot to take your suit off. That's okay, though. There you go. That's better, isn't it? Uh, do you find anything good for us? Let's take a look at a star map. Mm, doesn't look like it. Yep, everything else is out of range. Well, I guess that means it's time for Chemster to land on the planet. So how are we going to do that? We're going to go to the star map. We're going to go to our Serenity right here. Oh, I almost forgot to put on his spacesuit. Oh, come on. Put on your spacesuit again. Yeah, I know you just took it off, but that is okay. Where are you at, Chimster? There you are. Put it on. And then back to the star map. And we're going to say right here, the Trailblazer module with Chimster as the pilot. We're going to deploy it. And we're going to land it right beside here. That should be okay. And at the same time, you're going to change the destination for our rocket back to home. On autopilot, it should be able to go back home without an issue. And here comes Chemster. Happy as ever. Chemster's here. And let's see, what can we do with you, Chemster? We should be able to probably dig down here and get you into this area just to see what's going on here. But we need to go down here to our volcano. That's definitely our number one priority. But also that should not be that big of a deal. Hold on, why are you losing oxygen, Gemster? What is going on here? Aren't you wearing your suit? Didn't you put it on? You, you're you wearing it, right? What is happening? He was wearing his suit. Oh, it was empty. I put the empty suit back on. No. Oh, Gemster, what are you doing? Why didn't you say anything? Uh, well, I guess that's another loss for today. But that is okay. Gemster can always be reborn. Not that big a deal. Another day, another try. Back to Bierstein. Over here on Bierstein, I want to get back into this infinite storage here because we need to make this cooling here a lot more efficient. We are still at 72 degrees and that is absolutely not going to fly. So let's head back in there. We still have this area right here, so we can easily just dig in there. No problem at all. We still have our crude oil right here. It's not going to move anywhere. And we just rip down those two columns here. No problem at all. Buildings. Those two right here, those two right here, and those two right here. And we're just going to build it again exactly as it is later. No problem, I promise. Now that everything here is gone, wonderful. We need to take a look in our F, uh, not F7, but in our F6 overlay. And I want to get rid of these pipes right here first and foremost. So we're going to stop our pumps to make sure we're not pumping any more water up there. We don't need that right now. We're just going to tear out those pipes right here. And then we're going to put in a brand new cooling solution. Let's go to deconstruct and let's get rid of these three right here. That should get the job done. And then we can move on to the next storage, which is down here on the bottom. Whoa, hold on. What the hell? No, you should rip out the pipes, not the airflow tiles. Are you kidding me? You're emptying out the entire liquid storage. You're filling up everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our entire power production is going to hell. Ah, uh, that is suboptimal. That is suboptimal to say the very least. Ah, uh, how much is left in there? 20 tons? It's not even worth closing it back up anymore. We just need to pump all this stuff back up here. My goodness. Ay, 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 what happened? I just wanted to rip out the pipes, not everything else. But what can you do? Ah, uh, shit happens. Not that big a deal. Yep, our entire area down here is just filling up with water. Every last bit of it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Not good at all. But first of all, we need to drain it all down here. Then we can build a pump and it will take probably about a thousand cycles or so and it should be fine. No problem. We will get it fixed. I promise. Meanwhile, over here, we need a little bit of water in here. That should be fine. All we need to do is up here in the top in plumbing, we're going to say put in a liquid vent. There you go. And as soon as that happens, the water should come over here, come down here. And as soon as this is filled up, we just got to open up right there. Just first, we need to get the oxygen out, but that should be all right. No problem. We just going to build a, let's see, where do we have it? An airflow tile right here. So we can actually drain out that oxygen. No problem. All good. The airflow tile is here. All good. Now we just got to put in some of those tiles right here. Those two first. Of course, the top one with a higher priority than the bottom one. And then we just got to deconstruct them and all good. 
And right here, Liquid Lock is full, so all we have to do is go to our overview right here and use our good old snipping tool, no problem, just like that, it's all fine. And here we have our water, our lock is ready to roll, so let's get rid of these three tiles here, and everything should be perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot the airflow tile, oh no! Oh no, what is going on today? I just can't get my shit together. Isn't that something? The hydrogen is going everywhere. What are we going to do? Uh, yeah, it's all gone now. That took absolutely no time to drain that thing out into nothingness. Wow, that is suboptimal. What are we going to do about that? I'm not entirely sure. Well, if nothing else, I guess at least we can say now we know what it looks like when we release about... I don't even know. 40 or so tons of hydrogen into the air. <laughs> yeah. Ah, gotta see it positive. Gotta see it positive. It's all good. We can fix this. Uh, not sure how, but uh, it should settle up here somewhere. And then we can just suck it back down, I guess. Uh, it's, it'll be all right. I, I promise. It's, it's, it's all good. And I guess by now, every last one of you has understood that this is clearly an April Fool's video. So we are just going to open up everything and see what happens. That is the general idea. Let's take another look at Mucula before we do that. How are we looking over here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful destruction. Ah, gotta love it. Sorry, Champster. Of course, you had to die a horrible death all by yourself on Frostino. There you are. Well, that is just sometimes how it goes, right? And back on Bierstein, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, this one here already opened up. It's just a little bit of chlorine, nothing fancy. I'm going, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when you open up the oxygen because we have 61 tons per tile in here. Holy cow, per tile. That is not 61 tons in here, but 61 tons per every single tile in there, which is a total of eight. How about we start with the carbon dioxide, huh? Carbon dioxide, always good. Let's just drain that sucker out. So let's go to deconstruct and let's just kill this here. That should let it all out and it can go wherever the hell it wants to go. Let's take a look in our overlay here. That's probably going to crash my PC here in a second. <laughs> uh, 8 kilograms of carbon dioxide per tile. That's not bad. 20 kilograms. Uh, up here we have 200 kilograms. So it will take a while until all the stuff here disperses through our already pretty heavy oxygen. I mean, we are at 2 kilograms per tile, which is already a little bit high, but it is what it is. Up here, our Escher waterfall. We're just going to dig into here, probably. Not dig. We, of course, need to deconstruct. And then we're going to open up these two doors. And we're also going to let these, what, 40 tons out. Sure. Why wouldn't we, right? Let's plop a few tiles right here. That should hopefully keep our salt water from going to the left. And it's coming all down to here. Let's see how high we can flood this thing. Another 40 tons or so. Probably won't hurt. That's good. And now that that's built, let's open this one. And let's open this one. And that should drain out every last bit of what's in here. And even this thing here is going to erupt again in 1.2 cycles. So even more water is going to join. It's all good. No problem. And while we are enjoying this tiny little time lapse right here, please consider joining the Discord channel for more shenanigans. Link in the description down below. Even this ice here should melt eventually. I just killed those tiles right here. Every time our salt water geyser here erupts, it should bring on new really hot water and melt our ice in no time. That's going to be perfect. Wonderful. What else do we have? How are we looking over here? Okay, our carbon dioxide is slowly but steadily filling the base. That's okay. I mean, what should possibly go wrong, right? Over here, we could open this door here. That should be the easiest pass to do this. And over here, of course, those 62 kilograms per tile of natural gas may as well join the freight. So we're going to just, I don't care, open up this side here. Sure, why not? That's fine. And I can feel the lag. My PC is not happy about all this insanity right here. Look at all the hydrogen on the right side of the map. Oh my god. And then the carbon dioxide on the left. You see those lags? Oh my god. Oh, I'm worried that it's about to crash here. Oh, it didn't crash. It just saved. Oh my god, we are whooping 9 FPS. I need to zoom in a little bit. That should make it better. Oh my god. All the carbon dioxide here. We're going to give it a tiny little bit more time to actually disperse a little bit. And then we are going to release our oxygen and see what happens then. Something else that we can open up in the meantime is, of course, down here our salt water. Let's get rid of this and then let's mix it with a little bit of oil. huh? How about that? Yeah, let's get rid of that as well. Salt water and oil. Let's see what happens. And down here we have now our salt water and crude oil mixture. <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting what's going on down here. <laughs> What is all this here? My goodness, it literally does not know how to handle it. 
We mixed in with the carbon dioxide, the salt water, the crude oil at 70 degrees, the salt water at 60 degrees. It's definitely quite warm, to say the least. Oh yeah, I promised Champs to some supplies, didn't I? Why don't we give him some? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two Frostino, please. And what are we gonna give him? Does it really matter that much? Probably not, but we're gonna give him refined metal. Why wouldn't we? Let's give him some cobalt, huh? There we go, number nine priority. Let's get some cobalt in there and let's see how this thing fires. It's definitely gonna be interesting how that looks like. And here come the dupes, and we're gonna get some cobalt in and let's see, we are loading it up and it should fire automatically. Yeah, there we go. Look at it, how it's going. And it's firing every time it has, what, 200 kilograms in there? Yes, 200 kilograms, and it'll fire until it runs out of red bolts. I think it can do one more shot, no? Launch cost 50, we have 50 in there. Not entirely sure why it's not working, but it should be fine. Not like we need it. So let's take a look, what does it look like on the map? Okay, our bullets are just in space in the different hex tiles. Isn't that something? <laughs> I love it. All right, time for the grande finale. Let's take a last look in our F4 overview. Once again, I'm hoping that the PC does not crash. We have hydrogen and we have carbon dioxide everywhere. But what happens when we now come with literally a shit ton of oxygen? Let's see. You're going to come in here and I'm just going to dig out a couple tiles in every direction. How about one here, one there, one there, one there. And then, of course, we also need to give it some space on this direction. And all this here, of course, gets a number 09 priority. I don't think you guys have to pump anything anymore. Just just saying. I think that's quite unnecessary, don't you think? All right, the first tile is going to go. We're going to take a look into our F4 overview in very, very slow. And let's see how it spreads more or less immediately. The pressure is just so, so high. <laughs> gonna speed up just one more notch yeah we definitely have lags we definitely have lags oh my god and we have basically no more carbon dioxide isn't that something all right let's see how the oxygen spreads out throughout the base from this point right here ah uh, gotta love to see it yeah, this time lapse right here is running at a whooping 1000% speed and it encapsulates about an entire cycle in game. Isn't that something? Yep, that's roughly how long it takes to empty out that entire storage. An entire cycle. Wow. Alright, so let's take a very quick last look around. We filled the entire industrial brick with water. I mean, the very top is still open, but that doesn't really count, does it now? I don't think so, because it's basically dead. We have no more power production in the entire base, except, of course, for our solar panels and those couple steam turbines that are still pumping away. I don't even know how, because there's no more heat coming in. The thermal aqua tuna is not working. You should have died a long time ago, so <laughs> not entirely sure what's going on, but sure, go for it. Run forever. Here we opened up every infinite storage that we have. We have now 500 kilograms of oxygen in our base. Now isn't that something? If that doesn't explode your head, I don't know what will. Somehow, still, no dupe has died. I mean, they're not happy, they're peeing all over the floor and whatnot. But other than that, they're pretty content. 89% uh, stress? Could be worse. Could actually be a hell of a lot worse. Over here, the hydrogen has taken over the entire right side with about 5 to, what, 6 kilograms or so per tile? Yeah, it's quite substantial. Let me put it this way. Let's take another look over here. Yeah, so that's what it currently looks like. One last peek to Mucola. Okay, we still have steam everywhere at about 500 degrees. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we may have heated up this entire area here a tiny little bit. All of our things here died completely. Oh no. Oh, there's one left. One Sweetle is still alive. I'm not entirely sure how, but apparently it's still alive. Isn't that something? But other than that, Mucula has died a horrible, horrible death. And then over here on Frostino, of course, we have poor old Chemster just laying there dead all by himself. And on top of that, he almost got hit by our interplanetary payload. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if it would have actually hit him on the head? Oh my goodness. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed those kind of shenanigans. I figured for April 1st, we may as well throw one of those in. Next time around, we'll be back, of course, with the regular program. But for today, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
And with that, I say thank you and peace.